upon which upon which the uh, laws that we follow in the human condition developing uh, may make more sense. So originally, there was a uh, idea, a concept of a perfect creation. Okay, so boom, this this goes out a perfect creation. So it beats out and back to its core center. Okay. All right. So that established that uh, next, if we can use that word next, uh, in terms of the beginning of creation here. Um, there is the stuff of creation. So the original idea we call the mind, okay? The original idea of a perfect creation. Then there is the body, which is not a good word at this level. Uh, all that stuff goes out and will come back to that same core center. So you've got these two, two things, the great idea and the great stuff, if I could say that. I don't like the word body right now because you say, oh, body. And I don't mean body. It's the body of a, of a fantastic creation. It's not a, a body as we would first think body. Yes, body. Okay, okay so uh, stuff. <laughs> okay. So the great idea. And then the great stuff is following that pattern. Uh lining up to that pattern, it's the partner. So there is your more original mind-body harmony. Okay, a great idea and great stuff that follows that pattern that the great idea laid out. Is that sort of okay so far? Let me check my notes here, where am I going? Uh, Is that okay for it? Uh, not the most original, original, uh, uh, but uh, a, a pretty early piece of it. Okay, great idea and great stuff that goes out following that idea. Okay, so far. Then, da da, old one. Then. Okay, we end up in the manifest creation. Okay, so from this great, -da 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 -da, and we got involved, and, -da -da -da, and here we are in a manifest creation. Okay, uh, in the creation of uh, stuff that has finer and finer dimensions of itself. Okay, and along in there, there is some kind of mind or idea. What color should they? Let me change colors here. Okay. Okay, so you gotta, let's do it this way. A mind, oops, same color. A mind idea, and then the partner to that is all the stuff that's, that's a partner. Oh boy. <laughs> Am I? Too weird tonight here. Uh, okay. <sighs> the idea, and then easy, the reaction by its partner back is a natural law based on a very original, very original layout, okay? But we're at this level of it now, here in this manifest universe. Okay. Now the harmony between these two. Okay, historically, people sometimes ask me why I keep pushing on too much awareness, not enough experience, because uh, originally, there's a, a self, forgot to mention self in this great layout. There is a soul self originally, we're going back to the origin again. There's a soul self, uh, uh, 
original soul. Okay. But in getting involved, we could say it spun in and here we are. Yeah. Okay. But someplace still here is self. That's why we settle and open and easy the eye and do balance patterns to get into a finer level to eventually bump into self. Okay. And, uh, okay. Where are we? Mind, body. Okay. So little adages, that's a word, right? Adage. Uh, don't think negative because the stuff reacts to that. Okay. Uh, don't think tight things because the energy reacts to that. How, however you present, there'll be an equal. As we catch how it works better, a balanced feedback to that mind. Here comes the energy of it. Okay. Now, again, when I bitch a lot, is if it's too much awareness. Oh, yeah, I just heard what you said, Sensei. I'm aware of it. But, but you, haven't, you haven't done this part of it, the actual experience of it. So the idea is great. And it's partner that fills in the idea with, uh, as far as we're concerned, with the actual, the actual qualities, the actual feeling, the actual energies. Okay, so in, in general, uh, uh, mankind is a bit behind on the balance of that. They're pretty strong in the awareness, in the ideas, but they haven't clearly caught on enough to its partner and how that works, mind, body, harmony. Whew. I don't know if I got lost there. Anybody, anything? Well, I look at my notebook here. Say something. Help. <laughs> Just un unmute yourself if you want to speak, please. Bob here. Is that say Bob here? Yeah. Uh, Old Sensei used to talk about this in terms where he would use the word Aikido to describe kind of what you just laid out. But I think a lot of times when he uses the word Aikido, people think he's talking about Ikkyo, Nikkyo, Sankyo, and Yonkyo. I was wondering if you could kind of expand on that a little bit. Yeah, this a process that we've been trying to lay out for a year plus and where we're heading is uh, how the creation unfolded how we got caught up in this uh, uh, lobster trap, so to speak. We got wound into this thing. We wound ourselves into this thing. How do we unwind, start to pick up soon, eventually here, a finer self, a soul self, and get back to our more original state of being. That's when you go into the heavenlies and stuff, but got a little journey to make. Uh, so Osensei called that a Aikido, that uh, how that works and how we get back to it. He called that Aikido. And you're right to say, oh, Nikyo Sankyo is not quite the fullness of what he was trying to say. Uh, good, good enough? Is that right? Ah, yeah. So it's probably confusing. Aikido will save the world. Are you kidding? My dojo students hate your dojos, Nikio. They think it's for crap. We're going to save the world. <laughs> it doesn't mean Nikio and Sankyo. Okay, it's this inner working. And if you want to use that or golf or whatever as a reference to help you inner, finer develop. Uh, these dimensions are really, they're not out there per se, they're inner finer, which has an effect on the out, outer. So it's an inner finer 
uh, not development, oh, becoming aware of how it works, uh, inner experience of how it works, not just awareness, but the actual experience that goes along with that. They're in harmony. There's a harmony factor here. Oh, am I all, all over the place tonight? Are we okay so far? Anybody, anything? <laughs> Nothing? Nobody? Okay. Okay. Harmony, harmony, harmony. Did say I do have ah. something. Yeah. Danny. Yeah. Sorry. Danny? Yes. When you talk about the um you know, I just wrote something down when you said about ideas and they get filled with something. And I didn't quite, by the time I started writing, I'd forgotten what you said. But I wrote down that it, there are energies that wind up and unwind. And in my, um, with my acupuncturist, she's talking a lot about the deadness in areas of my body and saying they're so tight, they've wound up so tight, they're kind of like they're dead. So the work is now with the needles and other processes is to unwind them. So um, I'm in that process with my body. Thank you. And I'm really enjoying your presentation, Sensei. Um, it seems pretty clear. Um, I thoroughly enjoy this process. Okay. And this is for Danny over all of us after a bit. Uh, but don't get too caught up in unwinding. It's too hard. It's too much work. You have a sense of self. Use that as an express elevator to get to a finer core of self. And from that finer core of self, uh, there's no more windings there. They're, they're being unwound. But if you stay and you unwind and now you got to unwind this one and unwind that one. Yeah, that's what we do for a little while at first. So you get the flavor of how dimensionality works. Bobby has to settle open on wine to be a Robert who I oh, feel a bit better or a one by two by. Uh, Robert has to settle and open uh, to, sh to shift dimensions into, oh, nah, do, or a three by. Uh, we do a few of those to get the flavor. Now there's dimension after dimension after dimension. It's going to be too much work to keep unwinding a certain way. Use the fast form. You know what it is. You have a sense for it. Stop screwing around, Danny. Sensei, thank you. Uh, yes. <laughs> thank you for that. I, I Every day I am working with self. Yeah. See, yeah. I, this was yeah. just a comment that was made to me. Yeah. But what I would like to say. Yes. With the, the support and your support, how you've guided me to work in that area is that I've grown a new muscle in my body that was cut out. I didn't even realize it was cut out. I just thought I had a great hole in my leg. But over the last six weeks, I've watched a muscle growing in my body and it's been extraordinarily fast. And when I went to the clinic, they said, it was like, oh my God, what's happened here? I've got a full muscle. I don't even know the name of it. It's beside my shin bone. Are you, but it's beautiful. So you're, you're, so you're saying you're getting a fast recovery on that? Is that what yeah. you said? Hell yeah. Yeah. Should be so. And this is, again, where me and Susan are really working overtime uh, to uh, see how well this works, any tricks of the trade of how this works, but that tapping a finer level of core and where that level, natural emanations from that level go through the energy finer dimensions, through the heavier energy dimensions we call body, and we could say, and into your the world you're, you're in, they emanate out. So the better we can get to this truer core self, which is what we're trying to get to when we talk about the domain of self, we got to get back around on that on one Friday night and go over some, go over that uh, uh, again. 
uh, uh, but saying at that level, but any level before it is better than none, uh, to have those emanations go out and to, and to exercise there, uh, not exercise, but exercise with that boom, doom, doom, doom. not just an idea you have for a moment and then you're going to get healed, uh, to pump the pump, I say, <laughs> you know? and that sense of it emanating out, okay, and it's a percentage game, okay, there is a core, there is finer core, emanates out, and this feels a little bit bigger, and it's sort of moving my arms a bit, so I know I'm on track, that my arms get moved a bit, it's no big shakes, but it tells me I'm on track, it's not my idea, that's bullshit, right? Boom, it's responding through the system. It's a percentage game. So sometimes at first I have more percentage about the awareness of it than I do the experience of it. It's a percentage game. So I, I also add here uh, one idea to five experiential pumps or 10 experiential pumps, whatever. Uh, so I, I, I like one to five, just to remind me, uh, just one idea about this. I got it. Uh, no, you, you, your percentage of awareness idea is still way too high. So you can't just do it once and say, I got it. Or just to listen to me bullshit over here and say, I understand. Yeah, you understand the theory, the idea. Now we all got to practice. It's a practice. It's a practice. Practice is the best word I can come up with at the moment. Okay. So where the hell are we? Uh, I'm, I'm getting lost. Bring me back on target here. Where are we? Understanding mind body harmony. Yeah, I got that. I remember that part, Lauren. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so anyway, so this law of mind, and then that it comes back, the body stuff of it in relation to what was laid out is based on an original law. Okay. So yes, we're in a, a lesser zone here, but that law continues down at to this level. And so we're, we use it. We use it. Okay. Uh, and we're trying to get the, the balance harmony. Again, the, unfortunately, uh, uh, people kind are uh, too much into the awareness and not enough into the experience. Just figure that to be so. Okay. Uh, we, we're aware of this. Look, what's what, English language? He's a legend in his own mind. What does that mean? The guy's got great ideas about himself, uh, but people are saying, but he ain't really got it. He ain't got it. But in his own mind, he's a legend. Okay. Uh, another one. He's ahead of himself. See, there's a split between the mind, body, harmony, hate, present here and now character I am with the core boom boom and in there is a, a self still covered over but we're we're gonna go for it it's there someplace uh, okay uh, another one his head is in the clouds they're just referring to again this split he's too much here and he's losing contact with this stuff here okay uh, people like here and now, here and now. Uh, let's sit with that for a bit. Uh, here and now. Can you kind of not feel the idea and, and the sense of where the stuff is coming together? Here, now, here, now. I'm trying to say Here's where they come together. The beginning's level of a proper relationship between those two. 
So it's the first maybe simple example, but it's, it's pointing at that here. Now, now, here. And those two are starting to connect a bit at that level, maybe a small level, but we got to start someplace. Okay, did that come out right? Uh, what's the phrase? I think, therefore I am. I'll refer to Noah. I think, therefore I am. Yes. Created originally by Rene Descartes. You see, that's why I refer to Noah. He knows all this stuff. Okay. And I want to add, yes, I think the idea, the awareness of something, whatever, I think. And understand how the energy partner is activating. I am. You see, but we have to click that in. Otherwise, people may miss that part and say, I think I am. I think I am. And now we've got somebody who's total bullshit. Okay. Their thoughts about themselves are great, but I don't feel it. I don't see it. Uh, somehow they're not producing. They're not here, actual. Okay. Uh, so I think therefore I am is good if we clearly bring in the energy reaction no not reaction yes a reaction the energy the partnership of the two i think knowing there and there is an energy partner here it comes pump it a few times i am so the combination of those two i am that character i'm not bobby anymore i am that character Am I too all over the place tonight? I feel like I am. Help. <laughs> Somebody. Sensei, this is Dave from Chicago. Hey, Dave. I, I think that so much of what, what I take from these lectures is, is what you're describing in terms of the way that it makes you feel. It's that, it's that creation of that, uh, whatever you call it, that, that you can feel it through the, the 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 words the language the however it's manifesting and it produces that that kind of effortlessless effortless effortlessless uh <laughs> uh feeling yeah. that well, that is that is different than those i that the ideas of the words themselves yeah, yeah. and again the word effortless it, it see it shouldn't be a lot of work this is a law based on an original creation thing, mm. all right? So it's not like we gotta heavily work, a little bit at first, cause we're kind of in a one by two by three, a little bit, kind of get the flavor of how things work. But then once you begin to realize more and more how they work, uh, well, since it used to drive me crazy with Nado, it's so easy. Once you catch on and you have to catch on, he's not gonna tell me he's a, He's that kind of guy. You have to catch on, okay? Uh, so we're trying to help each other here, catch on. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's a natural law, boom. Uh, we shouldn't have to work that hard after a while, or even from the, from the beginning, da, 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 idea presentation. And here comes his partner naturally, by law, it's here. Oh, but I don't know if it's here. Well, you've just screwed it up a bit by going back to your tighter eye and interfering with it. Easy the eye, settle and open. All those things are to facilitate the naturalness of this. Was that okay? Thank you, Sensei. Yeah. Ah. So, uh, I was wondering, what if we were to do a little sitting practice with this? Uh, what about we play everybody? We play with, uh, uh, let's try calm. The concept, the idea, uh, the need for uh, calm. 
Okay, I'd like to be calm. I'm not calm. I'd like to be calmer. What, whatever you started off with, the idea. Okay, everyone, calm. That idea presents to its partner. Its partner responds back. Now, remember, it's a percentage game. Here it comes, it's responding back. And if you don't sense, feel any change, it's fine. It's okay. It's a percentage game. I don't expect a thousand percent. Calm presents to that pool of energy, let's call it inner, finer. Oh, something's happening. I said something's happening because my breath changed. It's much calmer, much smoother and easier. That's what I notice. You might notice something else, or maybe yet you're not noticing anything. And that's okay. It's a percentage game. Calm. touches its partner and its partner responds. On that one, I experience a, a straightening of the body and an alignment with my spine. I, it's like I feel more centered. That, that's me, mine, yours is yours. There's also a feeling of, oh, there's hope here. Calm concept presents to its partner. Its partner responds. Here it comes easy. Here it comes. What I'm doing here by moving my hands is I'm staying. I keep rebeating the response, getting a little fuller experience with the response. The energies of calm. Again, I can feel things changing, my sense changing. I'm, I'm getting calmer is where it's going. And again, it's a percentage game. Calm. Touches its partner. Partner as an energy responds. Now, this is an energy sensed, experienced. Okay. For me, uh, the breathing, my, my breath stopped. I, uh, I haven't been doing breathing practices in years, uh, but I remember that, oh yeah, here's this place where it's so bing, that there's just a, in the middle cessation of breathing, it's just bing, with other things. Okay, now we got to be careful because again, there's an over tendency of awareness. Uh, some experiential sense of this energy stuff. Okay, otherwise you'd be, okay, I'm aware, I'm experiencing. I'm aware, I'm experiencing. And you keep it in the awareness realm. So I like to make them distinct. Maybe that's why I'm, I do this weird shit with my hands. Here's the idea. Now get ready. Here comes its partner. A sense feeling. Here, right here. A sense feeling. A response. By the energies. Let's call them now. To that calm. Energies respond. Again, calm. Energies respond. And Sense, feeling, experiencing, 
Remember, oh, sensei said, put it in the body. It's going through this area of body. Hmm. Ah, and we could do that practice for half an hour. Okay, we don't have time, but we, we could. But anyway, I think we did long enough for some people to say, hey, wow, give me a hey, wow. Give me a, yeah, sort of, give me something. Hello out there, open mic. And if you say you're more nervous now than when we started, we missed something here. Talk to Sensei, me. Chris here. Sensei, Chris here from New Zealand. How are you? I'm sorry, who? It's Chris. Chris from New Zealand. Chris, another weird sort of talking of... person. God, go ahead, Chris, I'll try. <laughs> sort of gathering in this sort of my center, like everything sort of came from, sort of came together was it gradually over that, that short, those beats had sort of gathered in the center, sort of from below and above, a sort of a, a gathering of resources almost. And I felt, well, I guess centered is the, the, the common word, but experiencing that calmness, almost lake-like stillness and the breathing as well, but it all sort of centered around the center of my core, the center of my body. It felt nice, like it was, Contained, no, not contained, but concentrated. Yeah. So everything uh, sort of come together. And at one time they had tests. I felt. Sorry. You weren't finished. Eh? At, yeah. at yeah, one time they. No, I'm talking to. Nope. I'm not talking to you. Finished. I'm talking to everybody. Uh, did I cut you off here? Chris, are you done saying what you're going to say? You're frozen. Chris is frozen. So frozen. Please proceed. Chris, if you can hear me, your picture froze there. Okay. Uh, didn't we used to have testing machines? Oh, they still do. I, I don't know what they're called. Uh, uh, but if we're doing something like calm and, and they hooked you up so they could measure your actual calmness, uh, that would be a cute use of a machine. Boom. And here comes the energies responding to the idea of calmness. And you got your little machine there that says, oh, 10% calmer. Okay, good. It's working. Uh, so I, I see a place. I always saw a place when those machines were, there was a period of time where they were popular. Uh, Noah, help me here. Name of the machines or something. Biofeedback machines. So. Biofeedback, yeah. Uh, and I always thought, that, that, why, why the hell not? You, you know, uh, point people in a proper direction, give them a little feedback. Uh as I uh, sense experience, I become my own feedback machine. I know how well I'm doing by how I'm experiencing and what I'm experiencing. Okay. Uh, I have experience enough in this experience of, as opposed to the idea of where any change here, I know there's an actual change here in the experience and not just a, a change in my awareness or my desire or my belief. Kind of thing. Anyway, uh, somebody on on that calm this practice. Nobody got nothing. I'm wasting my time here. I'm screwing you up. What's going on out there? Another yeah, weird voice from New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on? All of New Zealand. All of New Zealand has responded. Oh, yeah, both, both, both of us everybody are, just stay, stay, be patient. We're all coming together here. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not sure who else uh, spoke at the same time as me, but um, I'm quite happy to go second. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Go ahead, Danny screen. and Mike, if you would please turn on your camera. Um, what, after a short time, what came to me was alertness. I felt very able and capable and I felt I could feel the softness of the air running over my body. And then internally, it was like a light had gone on and I thought, yeah, I'm, I felt really capable as well. Mm -hmm. okay. 
mind. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the martial art kind of take where you're very calm but active. Or Noah, help me again. Calmly active. Zan calm Shin. in the center of the who's it? Zan Shin. Oh dear God, he's using foreign words again. Well, I English. Thought you, I thought that's what you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Say it in English for me. Uh, at the center of the storm, the eye of the hurricane. Yeah, so calm this and but you're active. Yeah, so I think uh, Danny was trying to bring up that aspect of, of it also. And somebody experienced some degree of calmness just funning around with that idea, partner response as an experience. Well, if it's safe to go again, um, this is Mike. Yes, it is Mike. <laughs> The idea of calmness is in my head. And what I need to do is to let it descend into my body. Um, mm -hmm. Well, this is my, my experience and to inhabit my body. And, and that's something that I notice is a very distinct experience. It gradually, yeah. literally, um, it drops down through my body. And for me, in this particular exercise, I got down to my belly and it wasn't relaxed. So I allowed the calmness to flow out and flow out. And then all of a sudden, there was a lot more tension there. In other words, there was, there was tightness beneath what I was able to experience initially. And I needed to stay in that place longer and allow the calmness to, to deal with that you know, layer of the onion, basically. Okay. Okay, anybody? Thank you, Mike. Uh, Sean here. I, I think of it when you say re-beating, I really like that because this is the issue that I've had, um, I've sort of requested more information on. And it's like um, someone said, it's inhabiting and checking out, but, but experiencing and allowing something to pervade. I love that word, that pervade. It's like you got to be soaked in it, um, and and it's a sense of being like uh, four squared, front, back, left, right, and here now in my mind is like up, down, a sense of vigilance, um, and alertness. I like that word, alertness, uh, for nowness, um, and and the way you said. Nowness is not just a, 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 a one-time thing. It's, it's, a, it's constantly growing or, or changing, and it's the cessation. I love that word, the cessation of breath. It's what's in between the breaths. Yeah. That's what makes it so uh, nuanced and artful. Yeah. Thank you, Sensei. Yeah. Thank you. And Again, that's how I would look at the breathing as an ongoing practice. Uh, uh, that it's what's going on in the middle between those two beats. That's the critical work. The two beats are the balance. Better balance, better the character. Better the character, the better the core there. Better all of that. The self is there, still may be covered over a bit but he's unwinding and the self will eventually present itself as a self so when we again talk about self in the domain i'm talking at that level where self has the unwindings are so good that self starting to get really clear on itself as self yeah uh blah, blah, blah. where are we uh, Dusty has raised his hand, Sensei. Dusty. Yeah, yeah thank you, Sensei. That calm um, exercise was very cool. I felt light and smiley, so thank you. Yeah. I'm wondering about the domain. Is the place between the beats? Eventually, finer and finer and finer, 
There it is. Yeah. Uh, one more thing on that. I was in a, in a high, teaching in a high school and an algebra, and I don't know algebra, but they used define the word domain as a set of all inputs for a function. A set of all inputs for a function. Does that resonate at all? Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of from the dumb school. I'm, I don't even understand what you said. I need interpreters. Bob, you know my languaging. Interpret for me. I think what does, yeah, I think what Dusty's referring to are the inputs that might make up a character. So all the inputs together uh, are are what makes up the character. All the different energetic inputs. Yeah, we all we have our own grouping, and if we settle in open, open those. Uh, the groupings of the energies that you're related to uh, mix up better, produce a better character, you. So did I paraphrase that okay, Bob? Yes, that's, that's it. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hey, okay. hey, Sensei, sensei uh, those individual things are called, I would say, are components. So they're all components to make up the whole. Okay, okay Dusty. Yeah, whatever word you like, as long as we all have sort of a similar sense, uh, qualities, components, uh, aspects, uh, but we have the more original, I'm, I'm saying the most original, but more, more original, creation is all loving. The creation is all intelligent. The creation is all harmonious. The creation is all powerful. Now within that, the, the, now we use human words for that. It doesn't really give you the flavor of the original of those words, okay? Which you eventually can have the ability of bumping into the better and better, more original, finer of those words, qualities. Okay, uh, but we all have them. And when we settle and open, that's the beginning of allowing them to be more present kind of thing. So that's a, did I cover that okay? Yeah. Thank you, Dusty. Dusty's happy, let's move on. Okay. Ah, so the harmony, the harmony, the harmony. Uh, so the idea awareness, partner, I can place them more under, partner response. So there's an energy movement that at first you can probably feel, okay? And why we did a lot of energy work was people often don't know what those energy movements are and they make up stories about them. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Oh, I'm, I'm getting giggly. Uh, yeah, but that's not better what they are saying or doing. So as you settle more and open more, the truth of those energies moving, it can show its true colors. Okay. It, monster theory. God, it looks like a monster there. Okay, you're not seeing its true colors. Easy, settle, open some more, and you begin to experience, realize that 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 you originally thought was a monster is an ally. It's a supportive something that you need in your life to function better. It's an ally. It's really part of your system. It's unfortunate that in heavier, it can show like a monster. Okay, but it's not, but you got to hang out there, settle through that, and whatever games you can come up with, I, I play the a say what game. If it says, not no, you're an asshole, it's like, well, I already know that. What are you really saying? And it clarifies, well, you can do better. Oh, okay. See, it's the same statement, but 
I opened a bit and I can hear it clearer. Not though you can do better. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Easy. Say what? Something about a lot of caring. There's a lot of caring here for you. Something like that. A lot of caring. Yeah. And on and on and on. Uh, so find your own tricks to uh, understand the energy language flavoring as best as you can. So we can move along faster here. Okay. Because uh, after a while, I'm going to get tired of going one level and then digging deeper and going to another level and digging deeper and going to another level. After all, I'm going to climb the walls. It's going to go on damn forever. Okay. But we need a few. Okay. We need a bit of a one by two by three by or a Bobby Robert Nado. We need a little bit of that to get the flavor of how it works. Catch the important tricks of the trades, the early ones, because they'll probably continue in finer form, but they'll continue. <sighs> okay. Like the mind body, they'll continue. And eventually there'll be a much, much finer level of of that be uh, eventually it is the great mind of creation and the great reactive force that's partner to it uh so that'll eventually eventually happen but we got to start someplace so we're playing with uh mind body mind body okay your awareness of something now what's the experience of it again people think when they're aware of it they got it and I'm saying, don't forget the partner. Don't forget the partner. This is an ancient problem. It's not just human beings who have this problem. It goes on and on, okay? Partner. The experiential sense of partner. The more original of soul is aware experience, experiencing aware. The combination exists in there, okay? So down to this level, we, we take that original fact and we, we work it at our level, the idea and the energy. So I start you at dumb levels, but they're based on a hell of a big law. I have an idea, I wanna stand better. Okay, not bad, easy. I have an idea. I would like to stand better. Idea to its partner. Here comes the partner. Oh, ooh. I don't know if you could see it, but I could feel it. There was much more support it came from deep under here and it kind of moved me up. Ah, I think I should be able to stand better. Idea, easy. Presents to its partner, easy. Partner. Partner, here's the action. Oh my. Um. Okay, so sort of a dumb practice, but can you see how critical? Because that's the beginning of the game that goes on and on and on and on. Yeah, no. Anything intelligent? Getting across any? Am I saying anything intelligent is what I'm asking? How are we doing out there? Sensei, this is Bob again. What you've laid out very clearly, it seems to me, is that getting to this place does not require some complex, elaborate process that requires years to learn and decades to practice before you can get to the essence of what you're laying out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, again, because it's natural, that should make it easier, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, who's got a cold? Uh, Steve has a cold. Uh, so he got a cold from his wife. His system is naturally starting to respond back. Here comes a cold. It's just going to go, and it's starting to do whatever physical things it does when it's attacked by a cold. 
you don't it's not, you don't need to be smart. <laughs> this is going on. Well, all this stuff is going on. In a certain way, stop being smart. Easy the eye. I understand, Sensei. Good, you got that piece of it. But this piece, this experiential piece, that's a natural. Let it go on. It's a natural. Oh, I understand it. Nope. That's it again. You've done it again. That's good that you understand it. Now, damn it. Five beats for experience or 10 beats for experience. Don't forget that combination because the awareness majors will and they'll be aware of it and they'll know it and think they've done it. That's why I liked, uh, was it Chris? Uh, who said, uh, no, uh, Mike, who said something about, oh, I can kind of pick it up in my head and it's clear that this is the body here. And then, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I use something similar. Uh, I kind of use an upper flavor for awareness and uh, under experience. I, I can really, they're really distinct to me. And they will be to you if you play it a little bit. Okay. So in whatever form you want to uh, recognize awareness idea as opposed to experience the actual experience. Now, careful, the awareness is tricky. It'll be aware of an experience, which is already percentage-wise losing it a bit. So that's why I say five beats to so the one beat, <laughs> five beats, <laughs> minimum, <laughs> or 10 or whatever it takes. <laughs> we need to uh, really have that uh, uh, natural sense of idea, Body's responding, okay? Because for a lot of people, for well, let's say for everybody, uh, that fast combination relationship is not really, really embedded in their system. We have to embed it in our system, remind ourselves to where that's really, oh yeah, of course, boom, to bang. Of course, kind of thing. Okay? Ah. Uh. Spark me. I'm lost again today. It's my strange day. People bear with me. Hello, uh, Sensei. This is Lauren. Hey. Um, when we talked yesterday about this theme, you said that knowing this, understanding this, realizing that this law, this relationship exists as primordial, right? But it's as fundamental to existence that we do certain practices in Aikido, we can inform our practice. So how do we, how do we get it more into the inner practice of, of when we're on the mat, for example? Do when more inner. Doing what you're saying. Do more inner. Okay, I had a great time. Uh, uh, I was talking with Noah and he was reminding me of the old days on Castro Street that goes way back to my early days. Uh, and this dojo is real nice because we had benches all around. So we do some something on the mat and then I'd have them sit down on the bench and we'd do something inner, some kind of inner sensing meditation, whatever, uh, for some minutes. And then we go back on the mat and do something back to the bench, more inner. Uh, so we had an opportunity uh, with those benches there with spark me uh, to intersperse physical activity with inner inner to physical so that the relationship uh, was uh, more obvious. Uh, so I think uh, a lot of times in Aikido, we get so busy with the outer exercise uh, that you forget about inner. You really do. Uh, so how to... Uh, remind yourself, uh, or if you're controlling the situation to have time uh, to remind, experience the inner work, and then exercise, inner work, then exercise. Uh, so um, I think in normal training, 
there's a tendency to do a lot of the outer activity and very little on the inner, not really. Oh, you do a little bit. You might catch your breath or something. Uh, you might remind yourself to center. Hey, good, good. You're on the right track, but a little bit more of the inner to the outer. Okay. Is that, I don't know if I said it well. Y yes, thank you. Yeah. Anything on this, this balance harmony, this energy feedback to the idea, what are the proper words here? That it's a partnership. They are in relation and they relate better as we settle and open, I don't know, more room, let's say, or a finer dimension, they relate better. They relate better. Okay, idea to its partner. Partner reacts back, responds back, responds back, and, and, and. In that balance harmony, ah, the character begins to change. So with our calmness quick run there, uh, that would naturally create, which you hopefully experience, a calmer person. Okay, so it's been a change of character. You're not the nervous person. Ah, you're the calm person. We're calmly, as Danny was going for, calmly alert. But calm, alert. Okay. For a long drive in your car, that might be a good one to have. Calmly alert. <laughs> uh, help Hi, Sensei. This is Andreas. Andreas, hey. How are you? Hey, okay. idea, energy. Yes. I I think it's it's. I still go to my old one. It's like once I, I achieved calmness, then it comes uh, healing, and uh, healing is uh, is the partners of calmness. And then I realize is at some point they put like people uh, before they go on surgery on an induced coma. So the, so the mind is out of the way so the body can heal itself. And I think that's where it starts for me. It starts where uh, when you achieve that calmness and when we were doing the practice, uh, you are at the, in, a, in a state where the body is so free because the mind is out of the way and it begins to like, like you said, sit up straight, but there's a healing process that takes place for me. And that's, and that's its partners. Okay. so. So that's good. And I, I like that uh, induced coma so the body can naturally be allowed. But, but then as we catch how it works, we have the ability of utilizing the proper presentation of the idea to its partner to get that. So we can utilize it. We don't have to uh, kill it or put it to sleep or something. Yeah. Yeah. Did I say that? Okay. Oh yes, uh, th yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's because it's then it, it's not like by calmness uh, you feel like dull. Uh, actually, it's you feel energized, but it's not like uh, a nervous energy. It's not like uh, an abrupt mood. It's more. Uh, it's like a calm river, like uh, I, yeah. whatever it's going to be. Yeah, whatever it is, whatever it is. I, I really don't want to tell you people how your calmness should appear to you. Uh, I'll use mine as an example, but I'll tell you, that's me now. Yours will probably be a little bit different. I say peaceful. You may say uh, easiness. I tell you, you, know, you, you have your own flavor. You have your own flavor. Uh, I just use mine or some general ones. Uh, that are close enough to a lot of people to be generally thrown out, you, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and since it, to add to that in like, uh, as a, uh, now outside of the body, but as an iron, it's like uh, the eye is, uh, is actually feel op feeling optimistic and is not so, uh, it feels optimistic about the future, but th there's no idea about what's coming. It's like there's the unknown, 
but there's there's an optimism like okay it's okay it's not gonna be as bad right we got through this something like that 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 feeling yeah okay thank you andreas where the hell are we people where are we So all these dimensions are inner, inner finer dimensions and inner sense that do affect the outer, but it's inner work affects the outer. This Inner world is as big as your the outer world. Our outer world is pretty big, right? Galaxy after galaxy after galaxy. I'm going to go on for quite a while there. Uh, inner is just as big. Again, Osente would say, be careful of uh, going out into the vastness uh, because you, there'd be a tendency of dissipating, you know, getting a little loosey-goosey in some sense, dissipating, and little tendency to go more into awareness there, okay? Uh, so to this inner, he would say, use the sense of finer, like finer vibes, finer level, finer dimension, uh, but for lack of words, keep it in this general area here, keep it here, here. You know it's big and vast, okay? Um, I think of it like I use the department store example, the elevator and department store, and you get off on the floor. Uh, uh, you get off on the floor. Uh, women's undergarments, okay? Uh, and just a, a quick scan there. And I know, oh, it's silky... Uh, stuff, very fine, silky stuff. Oh, okay. Then I know it's a whole floor. It's covered with things like that. I don't always have to go out forever on that floor because it's a big damn floor, right? Vast. Uh, so you might want to do one or two to see how it works. Uh, enjoy the expanse of it. Again, there'll be a lot of awareness there and you'll probably begin to forget the experienced partner there. Uh, do the best you can. Uh, but for how we're going to work, uh, we'll keep it in uh, here and now. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it in this general area. Um, just know it's finer, inner, finer, sense of deeper, finer. Okay. All right. Just a reminder. Uh, hope that came across. Somebody help me here. Where the hell are we? Couple of minutes. Come on. <clears throat> you can always call on someone, Sensei. Oh my! Am I allowed to do that? I didn't see Florida Diane. Is she on? No. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, I don't know if she's ever going to come on, uh, but she broke her arm and I was going to ask if she remembered finer dimension, inner, finer level, energy flows. Okay. Uh, because now that's a simple level. We're not asking her to go to the very uh, 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 finest, finest, finest core, da, 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 da. Uh, but we used to get a lot of results when people broke their arms skiing, uh, who are Aikido people. Uh, and the doctors inevitably said, oh, my God, your bone heat is healing fast. Because they would get to an energy level and let it kick back out. And so that finer through the heavier would uh, facilitate the healing. Okay, and that's what I'm getting on Danny about. Yes, love your acupuncturist. Great. 
Danny, you got to go deeper. So this can radiate out from deeper. You can't just be a, not that you're lazy, I know you're not, uh, lazy and just lay there and let her stick needles in you. That's cool. I love it. You love her? Great. That's cool. But you, because of who you are, have to go deeper so this better core, finer core, more original core, you can radiate out for your medical. Okay, so, uh, all right, so you understand that putting your acupuncturist down or you with acupuncture, I'm not, not, not doing that, right? Got it, okay. Uh, and to use uh, Diane with a broken arm, don't, to ask if she remembered energy, energy flow. Uh, simple, uh, but it's, it's a good reminder. See those little things. Oh, I broke my arm. Okay. Inner, finer, help. And the energy start to flow. Or uh, bread. That's where this bread. Uh, oh. Easy. Arm bent. Okay. Let's uh, see. Mix that. that. Huh? Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll do this one. So uh, I'm afraid we can't actually see you. <laughs> Can we go to the dojo? Yeah, we'll go to the dojo. I'm going to forget what I'm doing this for. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, this old standby. Uh, let's check. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. Ah, I need some help here. Da 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 is presented to the energies. Easy touching. Here they come. Now a sense feeling. Here they come. Here they come. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little, some energy flow, some power of this through the body. Not perfect yet, but go ahead. Better. Yeah. Come on. Oh, now it's going to start to break. Stay with it. It's starting to break. Okay. That's nice. I could use more. Ah, easy. I'm feeling some reaction in my body. Oh, oh. This ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> and you can feel that, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And a partner, a good partner, should not just bug you, but be a feeling so that they're practicing the same thing on their side of it. Okay. Uh, so uh, our old standard. Dumb practices are really classically important. There was the idea. <sighs> let the energy, let the energy. When it starts to break, don't stay there and try to make off like I call that ego. You're starting to make up stories now. You didn't have the energy. Accept it. That's quite all right. <sighs> Repeat. <sighs> Here comes more. And as it's experienced through the system, boom. No efforting. If I find myself efforting, then that's my makeup bullshit. I let the natural loss. If it starts to bend, I accept that. That was my level. But I have a chance if I want to hit it again to do a better level. Okay. Yeah. No. Nice, simple practice. Now, the awareness majors, be careful. Because, oh, yeah, I know that. And I put energy out. And, yeah, a bit, of course, because awareness uh, has within it some energy. So, of course, but you're not playing the game. Oh, wait, there's the idea of a strong arm. Now... Pump the pump. 
Ah, ah, I can feel my back uh, like thickening up back here in, in a good sense, thickening up. I'm getting broader. Yes, let's try it now. And I'm not going to do anything. It's like, this is my norm. Okay, so watch out for understanding it and being able from the understanding to do that a bit. But we really should on purpose, purposefully click to clack and clack and clack experience, clack feel, clack breathe it, clack slurpy it, clack, clack. To get this balance because we're, out of balance. And the, after a while, the, the better, faster this will happen. Uh, some wild things can be done there. Okay. Yeah. Best I can lay out. Help. Thank you, Sensei. It's actually uh, uh, yeah. getting on in minutes. If. Uh, Somebody who won't be able to go to sleep tonight unless they talk about something. Go. If nobody has nothing, we'll finish up for tonight. Going once. Nice. Sold to the gentleman in the corner. Okay, people, uh, let's see, reminder, uh, Christmas Friday and New Year's Friday, of course, will take off. Uh, I'd ask you to, if you've got things to write about, things you don't understand, things that have been helping you, whatever, but it's also the holidays, you probably won't have the time to do that, but anytime you want to do that. Uh, feel feel free. Uh, we finished. That's it. Set two. Thank you so much, Sensei. Uh, Danny, you have your mic open. Is there something you want to say at the end? Just good night. Thanks very much. Good night to all. Good night, everybody. Thank, Thank, you, you, Sensei. So much, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you Bob. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you. everyone. Thank you, Sensei. Good night. Thank you, Sensei. Good night.